so far, every time that I was using this Raza shell command, I would interact with it and look at what's happening from a very logical perspective. As in, is the logic being handled the right way? And this is good, but that's very much a debug mode state of mind. Instead, what I might want to do now is just try to imagine what it's like if you're using this for the very first time and you're trying to play a video game. So let's just type hello with that in mind. And already here, come to think of it, there's an issue. It's great to know that this is breakout bot and that there's an adventure happening, but maybe as a user, I don't know what commands are at my disposal. It might be the case that some users are aware of how text-based adventure games should work, but I can imagine that currently the user might not know that. And if I were such a user, I might type something like help. And currently I don't have an intent for getting some help from a user's perspective. So this is something I'm going to have to address. So what I'm going to do now off camera is look for things like this that I can fix. And what I'll then do is I'll report back what things I found, what I fixed, and then we can wrap up this first collection of videos on how to set up this adventure game. So what I've done is I've had a look at what the interaction might be like from a beginner's perspective, and I've added some improvements. Now, if you type hello, you're going to get more of an explanation of what the experience is going to be like. It's saying, hey, welcome to the breakout bot adventure. It's then also explaining that you're in a room, what your goal is, and it also gives you a bit of an explanation on how you can interact with items. What I've also done is I've added a help command, such that if you type help or something that is like help, that you can then also get a little bit of a reminder of how you can interact with the environment and how the game works. It should hopefully now be a little bit more obvious that you can do something like look at the box. Now, in an attempt to make this experience just a little bit more fun, I've added in some references to classic adventure games. So if you were to look at the poster, you will see that it's a poster of an island full of monkeys, which is a Monkey Island reference. And sure, you're either going to get the joke or you're not, but it's something that I feel like experimenting with. And another thing that I have done which isn't super noticeable from a conversational design perspective, but something that is important, is I have been playing around with some of my intents and entities over here, and I have noticed that at times it didn't really capture the entity that I was interested in. For example, I had to add this one over here in order for it to detect that I'm interested in using the key on the door. In general, it still worked quite well, but I have noticed a need to maybe try this out on a bunch of users and maybe collect some data just to make sure that these examples that I have for all of these intents and entities, that they cover enough ground. Now, this is a nice milestone because in my mind, I've got something that is demoable. I could show this to maybe one or two colleagues and that's nice because they can test a couple of hypotheses for me. And it's a really good time to get feedback, mainly because I'm afraid that if I spent too much time refactoring this actions.py file and this domain.yaml file, that I'll be optimizing something that users are not interested in. This demo as is already has a bunch of assumptions in it. And I'm actually curious to see how people are interacting with this text-based adventure game. So in the next season of this series, I am going to set up Raza X on my laptop using this virtual assistant. And I'm then going to share it with a couple of my colleagues in order to learn how I can maybe improve the experience. Having said that though, this project as is, is something that you can currently already download and play with if you're interested. So definitely feel free to follow the link that you can find in the description below. It will bring you to the GitHub site where I'm hosting this entire project. That said, I'm excited to work towards the next season of videos.